Welcome back to the Discount Property Investor Podcast. Our mission is to share what we have learned from our experience and the experience of others to help you make more money investing like a pro. We want to teach you how to create wealth by investing in real estate the Discount Property Investor way. To jumpstart your real estate investing career, visit FreeWholesaleCourse.com, the most complete free course on wholesaling real estate ever. Thanks for tuning in. All right, guys, welcome back to the Discount Property Investor Podcast. Your host, Mike Slain, joined with co-host, Mr. David Dodge. How are you, Dave? Hey, Mike. I'm good, buddy. I'm doing great. Good, good, man. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's nice to get a little sense of normalcy, you know, get some uh, podcasts recorded. I know we went and looked at some houses today uh, together and separately. It just feels good to uh, to keep doing what we like to do, which is you know, play in real estate. So right. yeah. And then the spring is springing. So it's hard to not be happy when we've got a little bit more sunshine. I know I'm happy about that. I love, uh, I love spring. It's probably one of my favorite seasons, everything coming to life. So uh, what's good in your world, man? What's good? You know, uh, just trying to find some properties to buy. feels like it's been forever since I bought something and it's really only been, uh, you know, a couple of weeks, but I need to buy some property. So we went out on an appointment this morning, but that particular property just needed way too much work. We're not really looking for flips right now. We're looking for rentals. So that one just isn't going to work. But uh, yeah, yeah, man, hitting, talk, hitting the phone's talk, hard. Let's talk a little bit about how our buying criteria has changed too, just in the wake of this, uh, this whole thing. I feel like, and I don't know if I'm embarrassed to say it or I'm, I'm shy to say it, but I feel like we have gotten a lot more conservative in what we're trying to buy. And I don't know if that's a, uh, something to be embarrassed about or something to be proud of the fact that we are, you know, being prudent in this market. Um, you know, well, I mean, it just, it is so, you know, today is, uh, basically like what day 31 or 32 since they did you know, the travel like ban. I think it's been about a month since the travel mm -hmm. ban. So we're not, um, not that far into this thing yet. So the city of St. Louis where Mike and I live came out today and we record this on the 16th of April. And they came out and said that it's going to be another month of, of stay at home order. And they're going to review it mid May. And that's just to review. That's not to open mid May. So yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of uncertainty in the marketplace still. That's, that's for sure. And by the time this episode airs, I'd imagine it's probably going to be 12 to 14 days. Uh, it'll be late April and we will still be under stay at home here in St. Louis, Missouri. Crazy. So. But, yeah. And what I guess I, I, I go back and forth between trying to remain optimistic, but also being realistic about the situation. And yeah, I mean, I've always been more of a, re I've considered myself more of a realist. Sometimes people call me a pessimist. But uh, yeah, it, it's uh, it's a weird, weird world we're living in. Um, so again, we are more conservative. That's the way I'm going to say it or phrase it. We're just more conservative right now with our rental purchases. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. So that's where we're at. Uh, what we are excited to talk about, or at least I'm super excited to talk about, is the, uh, the course that we are releasing. So we've been pushing our free wholesale course for, gosh, Dave, I don't know, as long as I can remember. Uh, we've always had, um, you mean, since we've been podcasting together, I feel like we've had that free course put together, haven't we? I think we have. Yeah, um, I think we knew each thousands. other for maybe six months before we started working on it, man. Yeah, but we've had thousands of people take that. Uh, lots of good feedback. And yeah, I think it's just uh, pretty, pretty exciting um, to have another free course that we're going to be putting together, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So what we've got, and it's, it's live today. If you go out and check out our new course, it's called free landlord course.com. Yeah, that's right, guys. We were real original free landlord course.com <laughs> this time. Uh, but this one's really cool. So this is on our Burr stuff on the Burr strategy, the Burr method of acquiring rentals. So you can find all this info out there, but we like to put everything together in a comprehensive free course 
just because we, again, we like easy. Uh, one of our companies is called Household Easy. We like the easy button. We like that whole concept. So. We do. We like to keep it easy. Mike, this course that you put together is awesome, man. Yeah, it's pretty slick, man. It's pretty slick. Again, and, and couldn't have done it without you, Dave. Obviously, you know, we, uh, we build off each other's stuff. And, and this one is, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully going to be a good complement or companion to our, our free series of courses. You know, it kind of looks like that's what we're going to be doing here is, is giving out free courses. So the free landlord course.com that's free landlord course.com guys, check it out. We'd love to have some feedback so we can edit that before we really do a strong marketing push on it, you know, trying to get, uh, get other people in there and uh, hopefully give them some good, some good content. One of the most powerful tools in there, Dave, and it's my favorite because I was, uh, it was just out of necessity in our business. We were buying houses left and right. And we were trying to figure out a good way to describe if something was a good rental for us, right? So we came up with a little spreadsheet and we refer to it as the rental metric analyzer or the rental analyzer. And it's very, very, very simple. You literally just have to put in about four numbers and it pops up color coded whether or not that's going to be a good rental for us based on our criteria. So in the course, we're giving that away for absolutely free. It's a Google spreadsheet or a Google doc that you will be able to click and download and create a copy of your own so that you can have that and use that uh, just like we do in our business. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to pull it up so I can describe it a little bit. Yeah, better. pull it up and let's uh, let's take a look at it. If you're watching this on YouTube, you'll be able to see Mike do this in real time and if not, we'll do a, our best to describe what we're what we're looking at here. If you're listening to this, but this this um, this analyzer that we are sharing with with everyone, the world essentially for free, is um, what Mike and I use in our own business to analyze our own rental properties. So if we're ever going to be buying something, we run it through this analyzer right here. And uh, Mike, it's awesome that that we're sharing this with the world. This is cool. What screen am I sharing? I don't even think I'm sharing the right one. Here. I can see your MLS. Yeah, let me kill that and try that again. Share screen and desktop two this time. So let's click share. Okay, there so we go. Now Make you your should... screen bigger there. There you go. there you go. Yeah. So now we should see the. Uh, free course. You got my smiling face there. So you would go ahead and go in and create a uh, free access. So basically just put your name and email in there. And then you're going to get into the free course. And if you scroll down, so we've got the lessons up top and then you kind of scroll down. And right here in the middle of the screen, it says download your copy. And that is the rental analyzer. So we've got a little video that actually describes, uh, kind of walks you through how to use it but we're gonna go ahead and do that again. So you click that and then it prompts you to make a copy of the analyzer. And it looks like we're waiting on Google Docs. Oh, that's, right that's really cool. That's really cool. So if we edit it, then it, it, it updates that too. That's great. Exactly. Like that. So I've got this one, this is kind of the master. It's called the rental metric one. It's saved on my Google Drive. Mm -hmm. But then when people go out there to grab this, they're keeping a copy for themselves. So then yeah. they can edit it. Other people don't see it. And yeah, that way they've always got it. That also, if I ever need to make a change to this, I'll be able to do that. So, okay, so here on this sheet, you can see we've got uh, columns on the left that are labeled, starting with purchase price, and it goes all the way down to expected equity capture. There's about 20 uh, different rows here. And the first four are really the only four that we need to fill out to figure out if we have a rental property that's gonna meet our criteria. Super simple. Mm -hmm. So we've got an example here. Let's go ahead and delete these out, Dave, and let's take a look at uh, one of the properties we looked at today. Um, I don't remember the name of the street. Let's call it, I think it was Wangler, and it was here in Overland. So we'll do Wangler 63114. So the purchase price was going to be 55,000. Uh, we estimated it was going to need about $40,000 worth of work. So it's a pretty big project. And the property value when we were done, let's call it $110,000. Uh, monthly rent for something like this, 
this is a weird one. And part of the reason we're going to pass on this because it was a strange property. So we're just not super interested in it. But the rent, let's call it, let's say it was a good solid property. It would be $1,200 per month. So this is estimated monthly rent. So I fill out these four fields. And then if I look down to the bottom, I see my expected cash in property, my expected cash flow per month, and my expected equity capture. And you say, how does it do that? Well, we've got in the back here, they're hidden rows. We've got a mortgage calculation happening. So you can see and you can edit if you guys have different variables, because again, mortgages are very, um, they change from person to person based on the interest rate, based on the amortization schedule. And you can alter all those things as well. So we are figuring this on 5.25% uh, interest rate, but you can a 20 year amortization schedule. You can change all this stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see here. So this one, uh, I've got one red column in my expected cash in the property. It's saying I'm gonna leave $16,000 in the property. That's not good. Uh, but it's saying I'm gonna cash flow $300 a month and I'm gonna capture about 27,000 in equity. So how would I play around with this, Dave? What I would do, because I don't wanna leave $16,000 in this property, I would figure out my loan to refi. So right now we're only taking 75% of the loan and I would up that to 80%. And that's about the most the banks are gonna let you take. And now we're still leaving $11,000 in the property. Well, there's only two things we can do to make these numbers work better. We can either, when we're purchasing it, we can negotiate with that seller a lower price, or we can trim our rehab budget down. And hopefully we can, we can make that work. So again, I prefer to lower the purchase price. Same. So let's go ahead and lower that to 45. And then we are much, much closer to something that's going to work. I like how the uh, it's color coordinated. So if you guys are listening to this, this sheet is really cool. So there's only four fields that you can essentially add your data to. There's some fixed fields in there. And then there's a couple fields that you, again, can modify if you needed to. Uh, but once you set those fields, they're pretty much, you know, you pretty much leave them alone. But at the bottom, once everything calculates out, um, it's, it's going to actually color coordinate it by either being green, yellow, or red. And it looks like, Mike, you might even have an orange in there too, which is great. So what you're looking for, though, is everything in the green. And the targets that we have are actually stated on the Excel sheet here. So in order to get a equity capture in the green, we're shooting for a target of 20 grand. So if you guys have a target of let's say 50, you can modify the sheet once you get it. Uh, we have an expected cash flow of 300 at a minimum. So if it comes in at 100, it's going to be red. If it comes in as you know maybe 200 or 250, it'll be yellow because it's going to be close, right? Uh, but if it's 300 or above, it's going to be green. So this thing is so great because you can throw your numbers in there. And then if everything's green, it doesn't even really matter what the numbers are. You've, you've already pre-programmed it to only be green at or above those, those numbers. So if you fill everything out and you got three greens, that is a go. All right. How simple is that? This takes the emotion out of buying properties, right? Whenever you are a new investor and you go buy rental properties, you know, you're typically going to only buy the ones that you really, really like, right? Well, if you're aggressively growing, you have to take the, the emotion out of the property, right? Now, obviously, we don't buy junky, junky properties, but if the numbers work, we will buy it. So Mike just adjusted it and he got them yeah, all around. in the green. He played around with it a little bit. He got it all in the green. Um, Mike, I'm gonna let you explain what you did, but I can tell you right now that everything is green. It's at or above our target minimums. So that's, that's awesome. Right, so what we needed to do in this one, we had to come down on purchase price a little bit more. So I just came from 45,000, I dropped it down another $2,500. So our purchase price assumption was 42,500. We're still gonna spend $40,000 on a rehab. We're spending almost the same amount as we are buying on it. That's kind of a red flag, guys. We don't like to spend that much money on a property that we're doing for rental, uh, the same amount that we're buying it for. That's a, that's just a, a big rehab for a rental. Uh, kept the property value, or not, I upped it to 120. 
so again, we're going to need a nice finish to, to make sure that that works. We're going to have to look at our comps and justify that. And then I up the rent to 1250. And again, we're just going to have to try to push for a little bit higher rent by making it a little bit nicer. So that's how we would adjust those numbers. But Dave, I love what you said, is that when you're newer, sometimes you tend to buy on emotion and this takes the emotion out of it. And I think that's a really, really powerful um, thing to, to keep in mind or to use. Use a tool like this to remove that emotion because real estate is an emotional thing. People fall in love with houses and, oh, it's my dream home. Well, when it's rentals, you don't, you don't want to think like that. You want, a, you want a nice rental, obviously, and you want kind of cookie cutter stuff that's going to be easy to fix and that someone else is going to like to live in, but it is not an emotional endeavor. It should be more on the numbers. And again, this really does help you do that. So really, really can be a powerful tool. Like I said, we've used it to buy hundreds of rentals um, that we've either purchased for ourselves or we've purchased and fixed up a little bit and then sold as turnkeys or that we've just wholesaled. Again, if it worked for our rental numbers and we said, ah, let's go ahead and see if we can wholesale it, we'll go ahead and wholesale it. So we've used this spreadsheet to buy, I mean, hundreds of properties. So it is, it is really, really a powerful tool. You guys need to check out freelandlordcourse.com and uh, you can take a look at this spreadsheet. Nice, Mike, freelandlordcourse.com. Man, that goes really nicely with freewholesalecourse.com. And we've also recently just added free wholesale blueprint. Dot com. So we have some awesome free content for you guys. Again, go to freelandlordcourse.com. Check out this free property analyzer tool that we have put together and have shared with you. We have used this to buy hundreds of properties and it helps us analyze the ones that we want to keep and or how to even make offers. You can kind of work this sheet in reverse to figure out what your offer needs to be to get everything in the green, right? So take the emotion out of buying, use a, a sheet. We offer one that we're giving away for free, but regardless, you should be using something to help remove the emotion. If this is a numbers business, this is a numbers game, you need to use those numbers. So guys, check it out, freelandlordcourse.com. We literally are launching this today. We're in mid-April. By the time this comes out, um, the course will be you know, a week or two old. So it's brand new. And uh, we will be adding to it as time goes on to make this just like the free wholesale course. It's going to be the best free course that is out on the internet. That is the goal. Mike, any departing or parting words, my man? No, you know, I think that I'm, I'm just really excited we finally launched this one. Uh, we we are working on a book too, so we're gonna have that coming out for you guys. Oh, I forgot well. about the book. Yeah, the Burr book. So that'd be cool, our second book. And uh, yeah, just uh, try to stay positive. Uh, keep keep your routines, keep working, and we're all gonna get through this together, guys. Keep on investing. You got it, guys. Signing off. Until next time. Talk to you then. <laughs>